guys and welcome back to my channel you already know you're rocking with the girl the messy youtuber baby and thank you for rocking with me for real if you are here go ahead and click on, click on that like button y'all know i just talk way too fast click on that like button and subscribe if you are feeling the news all right so we about to get into this um this witchcraft stuff y'all that's on tv and y'all just probably watching tv just like me and you're noticing TV just getting out the box. Not only is the world getting out the box and all these random killings and stuff like that. And it's getting even more random, you guys. It's more than just the school shootings or a mall shooting. It's literally, you know, Ikea. They're up in Ikea cutting up, right? They're at the Costco's cutting up. So it's getting really bad. So TV is just as bad as well. Because witchcraft really runs this world right now. This new age stuff. So, when I was watching P-Valley, you know, they had the episode 7 Pounds of Pressure, where an um, old girl had some type of hex on her shoulder. Then he removed the hex off the shoulder, actually carried like 7 Pounds of Pressure over to his, um, over to an altar. And in his altar, I guess that's where he protects this evil entity or keeps it from, you know, trying to destroy them i just want to know what were y'all thinking you know in an episode when these girls just pulled out the little pendulum and you know they're talking about this pole and all this kind of stuff that's witchcraft y'all he even have crystals out there you know right in front of your face they're not hiding it anymore because you guys are in agreement with it it's a free will type of situation and you guys are choosing to use crystals choosing to watch this stuff choosing to think that it's okay instead of saying hey stop putting this stuff in my face you know because when people are throwing incantations at you and throwing spells at you and you have crystals in your house guess what they didn't made a connection because you probably, you know, didn't pray up, pray for your house or, you know, surround your house and holy fire, things like that. And you ain't throwing arrows at the devil, you know what I'm saying? He throwing arrows at you and you don't even know it. You open, okay? So now let's move on to the next one. Because the housewives been blew me. Because first of all, what I need to realize about the housewives is that they are ran by Sirene Media, okay? All that stuff that you're watching, I don't know. Who comes directly through Sirene Media or what they have to do with the girls? But I look at Je some Jezebel women as women that then came out the water, the mermaids, and become sirens, okay? There's even a whole show about it. I think it's on Peacock or something. I think it's on Hulu, actually. So, And it will show you how the girls are like sea creatures, come out the water, get their um, earthly legs, just like what the girl name is. The Little Mermaid, Ariel, just like her. That stuff is happening in real life. That's why they like to keep reiterating to children because, what, it's free will. And as long as your mind is opening to this girl coming out the water and getting legs, you're going to believe that in this fairy tale. But you don't really know that it's really happening in real life and that they're coming out and that they are actually leading the new generation, the new generations into hell okay because you want to follow them you want to be like them you want to wear the makeup you want to get the booty you want to expose yourself and all that stuff and that's not modest that's not of god so on the last episode of the housewives of atlanta the girls was doing a coochie cleansing my god with sheree i guess because they feel like sheree have a man you know we need to do a cleansing on her what's going on my thing is it got way 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 wicked so here's the friend that keeps on accusing Drew. It's like she keeps attacking Drew for some reason. Y'all know Drew be trying to be in the church, but at the end of the day, I heard her say that, you know, she was sage in her house. So here's the witch getting the sage, the incense together with candy. And uh, they got Sheree dressed in this outfit. Then she comes down. It's a veil. Uh, look at Drew's face. I'm telling you, like, they're getting ready to worship. Then the witch is explaining the incense. And then Sheree starts to dance on it, and they all start to praise around Sheree. Look at her face back there. I'm telling you, because the Holy Spirit said, oh, no, something is not right. Something was off. That's Manietta Shaw. That's Neo, baby mom. I'm telling y'all, they like high-powered people. That's Lisa Nicole. She used to be on the show. 
Look at Kenya was really getting down. Then she said, we got to take this back to Africa. You know what I'm saying? Look at Portia's husband is from what? Africa. So look, I like this part because Drew was like, mind my business. And next thing you know, the whole thing just broke. It's like she got close to Kenya and the whole thing just collapsed in her hand. And that's good for him. Y'all are going to need to protect your ear gates, your mouth gates, and your eye gates, okay? Because this devil is trying to get to you. Because guess what? Just like you be on that app, TikTok, his time is ticking, okay? His time is ticking. It's almost up, and he already know what's going to happen to him because, see, he knows the truth. But if you don't know the truth about Jesus, you'll be lost with the people who he has led you know, to destruction. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He don't want nothing else from you but to destroy you. Even if he give you something, at the end of the day, it's all a plan to destroy you. So, all I'm saying is, don't be too open to watch these shows and not protect yourself. Don't be too open saying, oh, no, it's just a joke. It's not just a joke. It's not just a joke. Let me know what y'all think about the con- Let me know what y'all think in these comments. About these housewives and them being, you know, water queens.